Hey guys, right now, I am standing in one of the best neighborhoods in all of Scottsdale, and arguably maybe all of the entire state of Arizona, and that is McCormick Ranch. How do you know that? You knew that because of the yellow and brown street signs. That's right, guys. This has a rich history uh, to it and one of the most affordable, most well centrally located neighborhoods in all of Scottsdale and Phoenix. And we're gonna talk about it and show you plenty of video so you can be boots on the ground like we always do. We're getting after it right now, let's go. Okay guys, we are driving through, again, that northeast section of McCormick Ranch, um, where, again, uh, the first Arabian horse show ever in Phoenix was actually uh, held in this 80, 70 to acre parcel of McCormick Ranch right through here. Um, that was, again, held by Ann McCormick, one of the founders of McCormick Ranch. This is really cool because every single street, when, the, when they developed this after her death, they, to one way to honor her, they actually named all the streets after Arabian horses. So if it's not a number street, you can see it's named after Arabian horses. So you have Quarter Horse, you have um, Shetland, you have, you know, we're on Arabian Trail right now. So it's pretty cool um, the way they designed this whole subdivision. So hopefully you're going to get a good tour of McCormick Ranch here so you'll know everything and be an expert on it by the time we're done here today. So a little history about McCormick Ranch. It's actually some cool history. Um, in the 1920s, the Jolly family actually purchased a 160 acre ranch, a uh, piece of land parcel right here in the corner of, of Indian Bend and Scottsdale Road. Now Indian Bend and Scottsdale Road is on the opposite end of where we are in, Scott, in McCormick Ranch currently, all right? So if we take one step back really quick. So McCormick Ranch, guys, look at the map here, actually uh, borders. Indian Bend Road on the south up to Shea Boulevard on the uh, north hand side. On the west boundary is Scottsdale Road and on the far east boundary is Pima Road or basically the 101 Loop Interstate, okay? So it is a, uh, a very expansive um, parcel of land. In fact, here's a fun fact. The 4,236 acres that primarily makes up McCormick Ranch today, they were sold to a developer from the McCormick family in 1974, guess what? $12.1 million for 4,300 acres. I mean, that's insanity. Right now, guys, an acre lot in this part of town would easily go for a million dollars. And they got 4,200 for 12. <laughs> so good job of that developer, right? Having a little foresight on the future of McCormick Ranch. All right, guys, we're going to we're gonna pull in here real quick. You can see, well, we won't pull in here. We'll go buy it. But you have Mountain View Park. It is one of several parks throughout McCormick Ranch. It is awesome. In fact, a lot of my my kids' sports, uh, we play there. Um, my, my kids' uh, little kids' flag football team, we practice there. My uh, son's basketball team practices there on the outdoor courts. That's right, in January, outdoor basketball, only in Arizona, right? So uh, that's fun. And then right over here, we're gonna go by is Cochise Elementary School. Now, all three of my kids currently attend Cochise Elementary School. It is a A-plus award-winning elementary school in the heart of the Scottsdale Unified School District, which is the second highest rated school district in the entire state of Arizona. So very good school district overall. So as you can see, what's great about Cochise, guys, is that it is spread out, it is open, I mean, Sam, you can go right here on the map right here and we can zoom right in. You can see how much land is involved with Cochise uh, Elementary School. Really cool. So when you talk about kids being able to run around and play and be free on recess and that kind of stuff, holy cow, gym class is a blast, right? So um, that is a very, very award-winning school. And there's some other schools, elementary schools, Pueblo Elementary School. You do have Cocoa Paw Middle School, and then you do have Chaparral High School that is located um, just on the boundary of McCormick Ranch. So you can see right here, you have Cochise Elementary School with several different buildings, and um, it's just a really good school. My wife and I really enjoy it for our kids, and they have a blast. So highly recommend it. Couldn't recommend it more, in fact, when it comes to an elementary school that is public. Now, there are some private options as well in the area with Basis and Great Hearts. So you have those options also to, uh, to consider when you're talking about kids in school. Now, 
a little more history about this, which is kind of interesting, is um, we talked about the Jolly family building it or buying the first uh, plot of land down here, which was 160 acres in the 20s. Well, Ann and Fowler, that's right, his name was Fowler McCormick, they purchased it from Jolly in 1942. And they actually expanded the ranch into the 42 plus 100 acres it became when they sold it over the next several decades. And the cool thing is, is they were no, um, I mean, they were no stranger to money. In fact, Fowler McCormick was the grandson of John D. Rockefeller. Heard of him? Yeah, one of the titans uh, in America, right? So they had a good amount of money. They spent it on um, on uh, uh, McCormick Ranch and buying up land around here. And here's the cool thing, the 160 acres they bought when they first purchased this piece of land was actually a winter home. <laughs> they were snowbirds before snowbirds were actually cool, right, were a thing back many, many decades ago. So a lot of foresight with these people. And uh, one of the cool things too is they actually donated a, about 100 acres of their land um, upon their, uh, their death to, uh, to the city. And 30 acres of that land today is actually still used um, by the city and operated by the city as the McCormick Stillman Railroad Park. Really cool. So we're going to go by and check that out and uh, show you guys that too as well, which is a huge attraction here in Scottsdale, especially for the little kids. $3 train rides. $3. Ride the choo-choo train, right? Pretty cool. Guys, McCormick Ranch um, is, is beautiful. Uh, again, you're talking seven different lakes. They're all man-made, um, covering about 130 acres alone just for the lakes throughout McCormick Ranch. As you can see right here, there's a biking path. See that with the little uh, yellow uh, lines down the middle of the path? That is a walking, hiking, biking path, and um, it is awesome. In fact, we're gonna give you uh, a good look of the uh, green belt, they call it. Uh, that runs to McCormick Ranch because that is what McCormick Ranch is actually famous for, the Green Belt. It runs for about 20 plus miles right through the heart of McCormick Ranch and even further south and north of it through the heart of Scottsdale, which is great for recreation. For anybody out there looking to go on a long bike ride or, or run or just a, a leisurely Sunday walk. Okay guys, this is one of the commercial areas of McCormick Ranch. You can see there's some really good uh, restaurants and um, stores and shops right through here. They actually border Lake Marguerite, which is right behind these shops, which is kind of cool. You go to the Phoenix Beer Company. My wife and I have been there a couple times. You can get a table in the back as you um, have a libation or maybe just a dinner. So like I said, guys, if you want to go for a walk or a run in your shoes, <laughs> and that video was not sped up. That was actually me trying to walk in dress shoes and it doesn't work out very well. Or run. Look at that view though. Woo. Okay guys, don't look too close at some of the murk in Lake Marguerite, okay? I'm not saying you should go swimming in here, but this is Lake Marguerite and this is a, an amazing, one of the amazing seven lakes throughout McCormick Ranch. And the cool thing about this is they do allow um, paddle boats and non-motorized boats as a homeowner in Lake Marguerite to be able to go wherever you want to, wherever the lake takes you through McCormick Ranch, which is a really cool factor because guys in the desert, let's face it, there's not a whole lot of water. There's not a lot of natural lakes. And so if you have the ability to get on a lake as a homeowner or you want a lake view out the back of your house, there's only a few options throughout the entire Phoenix area. And right here, McCormick Ranch is a great one. Like View Coffee, guys. Remember, this is time for a coffee review. Buy local, support local, Lake View Coffee. Let's check it out. I haven't been here before. Honestly, I never have. Hey, guys, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Your order over here? Yeah, I'm just right here. Yeah. Nice, okay, so we, we do a little, re little review on a YouTube channel of some coffee shops, right? Yeah. Locally. So, uh, here we are. All right. So now, the question is, 
What do you guys kind of hang your hat on around here? What's what's the good Lakeview coffee? So, I mean, if I'm being completely honest, we get a lot of just very standard, yep. simple lattes. Like, that's normally what people come in here for. Is okay. It's just a standard latte or a coffee, normally. Yep. But if you are wanting something special, we can definitely get you something special. The last month that we had was a honey cinnamon latte that I created and it was super, super good. Yeah. Still trying to kind of figure out what this month is. I'm not Anything yeah, you want? So Sam is a coffee snob, so you gotta really press yeah. her. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Sam, what do you want? He'll whip it up. Um, off menu, right here. Well, I just drink like black coffee lattes, but we're going off menu, guys. Here we go. <laughs> um, what you, you have a cinnamon what latte? Oh, honey cinnamon latte. I'll try that. Yeah, you wanna do a hot one or a nice one? I'll do a hot. And yeah, I'll that sounds good. Isn't it? Medium. Yeah, so you actually have smaller. Oh, small then. Small then. Small then. Thank you. Okay. Do you have any other? Uh, that sounds fun. What else do you have? Um, you have like any like the you have the season? I like this. I'm a seasonal kind of guy. You know, like the whole like you know that I stuff's do, gone, I isn't it? I still have some pumpkin that I can do. I can do like a peppermint Pumpkins. white mocha, peppermint mocha. Um, honestly, I can probably do like a peppermint vanilla latte. Um, I can do lavender. People do come in here for lavender quite a bit. We can do like a lavender dirty chai. That is a very popular option as well. For like that. honey lavender too. It's really good. Yeah, honey lavender lattes. If there's flowers in it, I'm out. I'm out. But I'll do the, uh, how about that peppermint vanilla? That sounds good. Yeah. Did you know Fun thing. Is it really? Well, it's the pollen from flowers. It's the pollen, but it's not like... So it technically comes from It's honeycomb. So is that like a, is that like a part we need, we need to research that, fact yeah. one. For either of these lattes, what kind of milk are we doing? I'll do, do you guys have 2%? Yeah. Wait, wait, you don't need oat milk? No. <laughs> You want your oat milk? What size you want yours, I'll do a uh, medium or whatever. Yeah, medium. And I'll do the oat milk if you have oat milk. I'm on a mission to find the best oat milk in Arizona, too. <laughs> I can't believe you're selling me out, Sam. So, how many, how many places have you guys gone officially? We're, oh, we've been like we've, all over the valley. All over the valley, yeah, man. We're okay. not. So, who's so far had the best? Mine's Peixoto and Chandler. Okay, yeah, that was my Yeah, I'd say that's probably the number one right now. Where is that at? Downtown Chandler. Yeah. Downtown Chandler. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's excellent. Um, I'm a coffee snob and their beans are just, they're so good. Okay. Okay. Well, we haven't had you guys yet though, so, yes, you know. Huh? That's right. That is sweet. Do you think you can do that? Okay, Lakeview, it's, it's, it's coming up now. Look at that. That is awesome. I, I definitely can't. I can't even draw that. <laughs> I can't I can't even draw that, let alone put it on a coffee. I mean, I didn't get honey in my coffee, so I'm good. <laughs> I got straight sugar. Sugar cane. Corn syrup. High fructose. Right? That's impressive how you do that. I don't know how that works, but that's, that's pretty cool. You guys should see this thing. It's crazy. You see this? No. Look at that. With oat milk too. That's shocking. Pretty amazing. Yeah, right? That's a lot of talent. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I, I, can't even, I can't even draw that right, on a piece of paper. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> 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 uh, all right, Sam, let's go check out back here. Get, get all the... Yeah. Bye, guys. Thank, Thank you very bye. much. Thank you. So coffee review? That is good. First of all, I've never had a, what's this called? Vanilla cinnamon? No. Honey cinnamon? I, I don't remember what I get. <laughs> well, I got a cinnamon latte, but did you get, did you get a So let's sit down for a second. All right, so uh, Sam had this good idea, guys, that, that every coffee shop we go to on one of these videos in these different parts of town, that are local coffee shops, um, not like big, huge chains. Um, we're gonna have a review system, right? So I think that's important, right? It's very important. Everyone, everything can't be a 10 out of 10, I don't think. But we feel bad sometimes giving lower grades if it's not as good because it's, you know, you wanna support the local business, but we're gonna go this, and we're gonna, we're gonna call this, what should we call it, Sam? Like, kinda like the, the KCI, the Kelly Coffee Index, something like that. Love it. Done. Okay. <laughs> so, we're, so, so, guys, we're gonna call this the KCI, the Kelly Coffee Index. Okay, and we're gonna give this to Sam uh, uh, a, a score, and Sam's vote will count too. All right. So, 
This is a vanilla cinnamon latte with oat milk, okay? All right, now this is, mm. All right, this is gonna go from a scale of one to 10. I'm gonna give that an eight and a half. That's pretty good, right? Again, no one around here is trying to be a Russian judge in the Olympics, okay? So I'm not trying to give it a one for everything, right? But eight and a half is solid, because 10 is hard to find, right? And I think if we go back, we probably give a 10, maybe to one place so far. Yeah. And that was? Peixoto Coffee. Peixoto Coffee in, in downtown Chandler. So shout out to Peixoto Coffee in downtown Chandler, right? But this is solid. Lakeview, McCormick Ranch, Scottsdale, Arizona. Sam, what do you think? Um, where are you? What do you think? Yes, yeah, so what do you think, so, Sam? I think, so I got a honey cinnamon latte, which is not very normal, but because of the taste of it, I'd probably give it a seven out of 10, you know? Definitely very smooth in terms of the flavor of the coffee, but you know, honey is very hard to mix in like hot liquids. It doesn't melt as easily, so it doesn't run as smooth. But yes. honestly, a seven out of 10, three. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah. and guys, Sam's more of a coffee snob, so she, <laughs> she's probably actually a little more accurate, um, I would say, because yeah. I kind of just like everything. If it's hot and tastes like coffee, but um, okay, I'm not that bad, but yeah. So seven, seven from Sam and eight and a half from me for Lakeview Coffee. All right, so what would, okay, as a comparison, what would you think that same coffee at Starbucks would be in your scale? Probably like a six out of 10. Yeah, I think. Yeah, a little bit lower. I would say it might be a six, six and a half, right? This is eight and a half, so I would highly recommend it right now over Starbucks. Now, guys, listen, let's be clear. I still go to Starbucks. I like Starbucks, but buying local, supporting local, and this is really good too. It's a win, win, win. Okay guys, there's the uh, Mercado at McCormick Ranch, which uh, again, we hit a little bit um, on earlier, but here's more um, B-roll of it. There's a Zip Sports Bar. Zips, guys, is phenomenal. It really is. I know I say that a lot. I feel like I say it a lot, but it's true. Uh, Zips has several locations throughout the uh, greater Phoenix area. They have one that's a neighborhood sports bar right here in McCormick Ranch. And the number one thing with Zips is the Fakashas. What is a focaccia, you say? I'm glad you asked. It's like it's like a burrito, but with like pita bread. And inside it, you have um, wrapped up uh, chicken and cheese and you know tenderloin, whatever you want in there. It's, it's awesome. Okay, hold on, Sam, get that view right there. Look at that, guys. Looking over Lake Marguerite, look at that view of the mountains right there through McCormick Ranch. Not too shabby. Okay guys, we are driving through the south part of McCormick Ranch right now. And this area is, is amazing because look at the size of these lots. Now, that's not completely normal for McCormick Ranch. Most of the lots are a little bigger than the average, but not on acres until you get to the south, southern part of McCormick Ranch. We're gonna give you literally the best kept secret in all of McCormick Ranch, possibly all of Scottsdale. And it's the neighborhood of Paradise Valley Farms. So Sam, if you uh, pan over here, you're gonna see the street of dreams here on PV Farms. Now, it's called Paradise Valley Farms, guys, but this is in McCormick Ranch, and this is Scottsdale, uh, Scottsdale address. It's just called, for whatever reason, Paradise Valley Farms. This side of the road here that we are driving on, on this one road on 75th is, is arguably one of the best roads in all of central Scottsdale because all of these lots are over an acre, no HOA, and they have east-facing backyards. Now, every other lot in PV Farms is actually about right around an acre, but these lots on this side of the street are an acre and a half, and they are extremely desirable. There are quite a few homes now, currently in PV Farms right here on these lots that are being rebuilt, knocked down and rebuilt, and they are going for about $1,000 to $1,100 a square foot. So there are some 10, nine to $10 million 
rebuilt luxury homes right here in PV Farms. And it is just amazing. Flat, usable, the entire lot, every square inch of it is usable for your families, your kids, your backyard, etc. And the roads are mature, the trees are mature. It's just a really, really cool pocket located on the south part of McCormick Ranch in Scottsdale, Arizona. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the video here of PV Farms. Okay guys, let's talk about golf. Golf in Arizona, especially Scottsdale, is a way of life, right? Uh, it's the golf mecca of the world, and McCormick Ranch helps support that. If you go anywhere 10 miles away from this, this uh, location as well in Scottsdale, you're gonna, you're gonna involve or be around or find 45 plus golf courses to choose from, right? So there's no shortage of golf, guys, in Scottsdale, Arizona. McCormick Ranch Golf is phenomenal. Two courses here at the McCormick Ranch Golf Club, which are both public. It is the Pine Course and the Palm Course, okay? Now, the Palm Course is actually an award-winning course. It uh, actually it has 10 holes of the 18 that are featured as water holes. In fact, hole nine was actually featured by Golf Illustrated as one of the top 10 water holes in all of golf in America. So that's pretty cool, okay? And it's also a, a, a very favorite destination for the Canadian Tour to have qualifiers on the Palm Course as well. Now the Pine Course actually holds its own as well. A very, very nice course, a little more expansive, a little more forgiving, but it also is a qualifier, regional qualifier, for the Waste uh, Management Phoenix Open, which is the main uh, golf event on the PGA Tour that is hosted right over here at the TPC Scottsdale nearby about five miles away. So both courses are phenomenal. Guys, look around. We'll pan around here. Look at this view. You've got the golf club right there. And then you have Camelback Mountain in the, uh, the distance as well as Mummy Mountain in the distance. And as you scroll all the way around 360, Sam, you can see more of uh, the two courses over there as well with mountain views every which way that you look. Just a beautiful place to come play some golf right here in McCormick Ranch. And guys, Again, what I love about these courses is they look, they're, they're tough courses, but they are a little more forgiving, a little wider, right, than your typical average desert course. So if you are like me and you have a chance to snap hook, then you can still find your ball most of the times at McCormick Ranch. So good to know. There's a Scottsdale Plaza Resort and Sam, guys, little known fact, this is a fun fact. That Plaza Resort right there, which is really, really cool. That was my first introduction to Arizona in 1999. I played in the Fiesta Bowl in 1999, played the, uh, for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. We played uh, the Tennessee Volunteers that year, and uh, that was my first introduction to Arizona. We landed at Sky Harbor Airport, took the bus to Sc Scottsdale Plaza Resort. It was snowing in Nebraska when uh, our plane took off on Christmas Eve, and uh, three hours later, People are playing tennis in t-shirts at the resort. And I just, you know, as a, I was probably 19, I was wondering what in the world just happened. <laughs> so I was like, this place here in Phoenix seems pretty cool. I'm gonna remember that. And uh, fast forward, several years later, I was down in Arizona, 2004. So. That's a little fun fact, but that Scottsdale Plaza Resort was the first place I ever really stayed or spent any time uh, in Arizona. So there you go. Fun facts by Kelly Cook. <laughs> so here we are at the train park coming up here. Okay guys, here's the McCormick Steelman Railroad train park. This is a uh, park operated by the city of Scottsdale. It is public and it is one of the most cool parks you will probably see out there, especially for a publicly, uh, public, um, publicly operated uh, park. You have a train that runs through the entire park. They are only $3 for a train ride. And you also have model a model train park where you can literally go in there. It's the biggest, baddest, most awesomest, I just made up a, a word, model train park I've ever seen. Uh, and then you have, of course, real trains 
um, like this one that's modeled for you that you can actually go in an old train car down there. And I believe this train car right here was the actual train car that I think maybe President Truman, or one of the presidents, um, way back when, right, uh, was actually actually rode in uh, on his campaign trail when he was trying to get elected um, as president. So another fun fact. So let's check this out. Okay guys, we are standing here right in the McCormick Stillman Railroad uh, Park. City of Scottsdale runs and operates this. It's an amazing guys uh, park. I, I don't know that I've seen a park better than this when it comes to all the different things that little kids may want to do and uh, maybe some of you adults like myself. I can't lie guys, I've been on the train a couple times. It's fun, right? But anyways, this train goes all the way around this park here. It's 30 acres guys, right here in the heart of Central Scottsdale. You even have a, a Wild West um, Jesse James bank robber little village over here that kids can play. It's awesome. It's really cool. And it comes all the way around here. And then you can see right here the train depot um, with the little train cars over there that, that uh, are actually benches that adults and kids alike can sit and enjoy a nice train ride with an engine over here and a caboose. So let's go this way a little bit. You can see a little bit more of the park. But it's just really cool, guys. If you have a chance to visit Scottsdale, even if you're not living here um, and you're just visiting, you, you have to do this. It's a really, really cool park. Um, but you see the train depot. There's the engine right there. It is literally the Paradise and Pacific Railroad Company. Pretty cool. Um, and then you have a carousel down here. Uh, and then you have a bunch of areas down here for uh, parties. If you have kids, you can have birthday parties here. You can rent out little sections of the park to have parties or events, whatever you want to do here in the McCormick Railroad uh, train park. So just a little slice of heaven, or I mean Scottsdale, here in McCormick Ranch. <laughs> okay guys, so we are again driving through McCormick Ranch here um, on Hayden Road. We're going to go by um, another little commercial section of um, McCormick Ranch, show you guys. There's all these little sections throughout McCormick Ranch that uh, offer some nice dining um, options and some shopping options. Now let's talk about entertainment. We talked about the uh, train park that we just went to a little earlier and here is the Grove at McCormick. So you can see some, you got Lucy's, you got a sushi bar, you have some cool restaurants back here, the Vig, um, there's a couple of Vigs around uh, the Scottsdale area and they are uh, a really cool restaurant to go. Good food, good atmosphere, great vibe. Got some coffee shops, Starbucks in here, Credit Union um, throughout. This is Paseo Village. So we already talked about the Mercado at McCormick Ranch. This is Paseo Village at McCormick Ranch as well. You got Walgreens over here, a pharmacy, and uh, you have an LA Fitness, which kind of anchors this entire um, commercial strip in McCormick Ranch. All right, guys, let's talk about entertainment in McCormick Ranch. So you are just minutes away from the Arizona Boardwalk, which is a, a, a great place. It has uh, a, one unique spot, actually a couple. You don't see an aquarium every single day, and even most major cities do not have an aquarium. Which is pretty cool is a rotating 360 degree um, theater viewing uh, room, if you will, to where you can sit in a room, rotate, see a tank full of a certain kind of fish, rotate, see a tank full of certain kind of sharks or whatever it may be. It's actually pretty, uh, pretty cool. Now you have the Butterfly Wonderland, you will see every kind of species that uh, is possibly known to man when it comes to butterflies. And then you also have um, a lot of shops and restaurants, Johnny Rockets, the best milkshakes ever is located over there as well, okay? Now, you also have the Salt River Fields. Salt River Fields is a huge complex of baseball fields and, tra and a training facility. It is the home of the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Colorado Rockies spring training facilities. So, um, pretty cool, a lot of baseball fields 
and uh, you can go there, get a lawn a ticket to sit in the lawn in the outfield for like you know 10, 10 bucks um, in March on uh, like a random Tuesday, one o'clock game, and it is beautiful, guys. The weather's perfect. You get to see some spring training baseball and get ready for the up upcoming Major League Baseball season. So that is just literally uh, a stone's throw away from McCormick Ranch. Guys, thank you very much for joining us at our video here of McCormick Ranch, located right in the heart of Scottsdale, Arizona. Guys, you know, uh, as we talk about, Scottsdale is broken up in three distinct areas, South Scottsdale, Central Scottsdale, and North Scottsdale. It's very long, not very wide, and McCormick Ranch sits right in the middle of the heart of Central Scottsdale. Guys, beautiful subdivision, as you saw, um, beautiful amenities, wonderful lifestyle, you can't go wrong. So if you have any questions about McCormick Ranch, let us know. We can send you any houses, anything that's available for sale, all the data analytics that you want to know about McCormick Ranch. So again, please ring the notification bell, smash the like button, and subscribe. And hopefully the YouTube algorithm gets us out there to more viewers where people see our channel. Thank you very much, guys, for joining us. And again, call us with any questions you have. We would love to help at 888-KCREG11. That's 888-KCREG11-527-3411. And our uh, email is info at kellycookhomes.com. Oh, and don't forget, check out our Instagram page, at Kelly Cook Real Estate Group on Instagram. We're putting out content almost on a daily basis for your personal enjoyment and hopefully education about everything Phoenix. Don't forget, guys, call me. Call me.